Hello again, everyone. Um, as you can see, I'm making another video of me uh, in front of the camera uh, talking to you again, um, like I did with my Casey and Anthony, Casey Anthony opinions. And um, today, as you could probably tell by the title, um, you know, ju just just going to talk about you know September 11th. Um, you know, it's been 10 years later. It, it, can you believe it's been that long already? I mean, I I, I could still remember everything like it was yesterday. And um, a little info on that day, actually. Um, I was uh, actually being homeschooled by my mom that year, and uh, so since I was home on that day, I saw everything on TV. I, I mean, I saw because um, you know because you know every news channel had had the uh, had the disaster happening. So um, I, w I pretty much saw everything. And um, what had happened was um, it was kind of strange. I remember as 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 we were doing as she was teaching me, I remember I heard uh, an unusual amount of sirens. Uh, outside our house when I was um, we, when we were in the um, when, when we were doing the schooling and and it was like, I thought it was unusual but you know obviously I thought nothing of it then I think it was around uh, 8:50 in the morning uh, my dad uh, calls us from work and he tells my mom and myself you know um, he's like uh, you guys should, you guys better turn on the TV like uh, he said uh, the World Trade Center is being attacked and we're like what you know. Uh, like we we thought nothing of it. Then um, we turn on the TV. I think it was CNN we had on at the time, and uh, yeah, we saw pretty much um, at the time was just when the first plane had hit. Um, we just saw what was going on, and like we were all confused, as was probably everyone about you know what was going on. So um, the next thing we know, uh, as we're watching, we see we see the second uh, plane hit. And as as I'm sure everyone else thought at around that time that we all knew that you know this was a deliberate attack it wasn't an accident, and then you know we're basically just um, watching in disbelief and our fear and I'm sure many other people's fear at the time was um, you know were there any other planes in the area was there going to be another attack on another building such as like you know the Empire State Building or you know anything else, so um, we're just sitting there watching. Um, just everything, and it's unbelievable, you know, it, uh, that's kind of an understatement, but I mean, you know, it's, it was unbelievable as to what was going on, and for, and we had pretty much stopped, she, we, we pretty much stopped the, the schooling for that day, obviously, and, you know, for the whole day, we were just watching everything unfold on the TV, which was, you know, which was just unbelievable to watch, uh, I think, um, I think at one point, uh, my mom tried calling my dad again, and she couldn't, because, you know, all the phone circuits were, like, busy beyond belief at the time, and we're just, you know, hoping, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we were just, you know, hoping that, uh, nothing else was going to happen, I mean, obviously, people dying and the buildings going down, and it, a lot, a lot more did happen, but, uh, you know, it was just, um, just a horrible day, and, um, yeah, let's see, uh, let's see I'm, I'm 23 now, so, yeah, I was I was 13 at the time uh, when this happened, so uh, I, I remember it very well. Um, and, you know, for the rest of the day, um, we, uh, you know, we had lunch, whatever, at home, and then pretty much, I'd say until about maybe 11.30 at night, when I finally went to sleep, is when I shut the TV off, and, yeah, I was pretty much glued to the TV the whole day. So, um, it was just a terrible day, you know, so many people... So many people dying that shouldn't have died that day, and, you know, even people who were heroic, you know, the people who prevented Flight 93 from hitting, I think it was either the Capitol or the White House was its original target, um, and, you know, definitely heroic people in that situation. And, you know, uh, today, uh, 10 years since then, you know, it still, it still feels like to me that, like, it just happened, you know, it was so, it was such a huge event, if, if that's the right way to put it, and, um, it's like, you know, uh, even, even this, even this amount of years later, uh, it just, it's so recent. I, I can still, I can still see myself remembering exactly what I was doing that day, just in front of the TV and in this state of shock, like everyone else, obviously. But I mean, you know, um, just to, um, just to remember exactly what happened. It's like, it's, yeah, like they say, never forget. It's very hard to forget. And, but we definitely shouldn't forget it though, obviously. Um. What I want to show you guys here is, um, too, is uh, a couple of things I've saved uh, from that time. Um, this is what I could find immediately. I have some more stuff, but I couldn't really find it offhand, so I'll just show this stuff to you. Um, maybe some of you have this. Um, this is a New York Times magazine that shows the uh, the light beams uh, to show where the towers used to be. This, uh, what was this? Um, 
this is September 23rd, 2001. And, um, 2001? Yeah, 2001. And, um, th that's something I have here. Um, I got this other magazine here, which I don't see uh, a date on it, but, um, it's called Attack on, it's called Attack on America. Um, and actually, as a matter of fact, uh, the, um, I don't know if this is gonna. I don't know if this is gonna appear properly, but um, the uh, the, the camera is inverted for some reason when I record. I'm using the iSight on my iMac, by the way. So I mean, um, if this comes out in inverted on the video, I apologize. But uh, this says uh, attack on America, the heroes, the victims, and on top is you know most wanted target Osama bin Laden, which we which we finally got the announcement that we got him um, at the beginning of May, which was a very good announcement, that's for sure. And I mean inside here, um, just um, one of the first pictures. Is um, this the oldest destruction in front of where where Building Five used to be? And you can just see that um, you know, like, like it says, uh, in a New York City a war zone. So you can just see that um, is a uh, very bad, very very bad. And um, uh, any and um, on the back of the magazine is a picture of the guys um, putting uh, the the American flag over the Pentagon by the uh, damage section. And just, uh, I don't think there's anything other significant, well, that's not, that's not a good word to say, I'm sorry, but like, you know, and basically, just terrible footage, but, I mean, yeah, this is, uh, you know, this actually happened, it's, it's a sad thing, so, and anyway, um, uh, this is a magazine by Time, which, uh, which we got on, um, September 24th, 2001, uh, it's a picture of uh, of a uh, former President Bush on the um, by the World Trade Center side. You can see uh, uh, Building Six behind him there. Um, I, I, this is when he gave his this is when he gave his speech. I'm assuming to um, to everyone that was there, um, and um, you know just uh, all the people trying to help everyone in the um, site and very very sad stuff that happened that day. Um, and you know like like everyone say, it's important to remember the past. It's definitely important and. Um, uh, for any, uh, th this is a, this is a Long Island exclusive newspaper here, but um, this was uh, May twenty first of '02, so this is um, this is when I was a freshman in high school, actually. Um, uh, the um, I don't know if anyone remembers this Newsday article. What's next? You know, it shows um, basically how the site was um, when they were trying to, um, you know, I guess uh, figure out what to do with everything. So, um, you know, as you can see, I have a lot of um, I have a lot of. Uh, things to remember that day and um actually on our house right now uh we actually have um uh, two flags on the outside um one next to the front door and one uh in between the garage doors which you didn't see in my last video because i had we had taken them down for for hurricane irene and um anyway um uh, you, you know this is also another subject many of you guys who know me i've talked about before a lot you know is um is the whole 9-11 conspiracy, please, I mean, really, there's, no, I mean, 10 years later, they haven't proved anything, so, I mean, it, it just didn't happen, okay, we were basically, uh, what's the term, yeah, we were basically, you know, caught with our pants down, as they say, and, and then the attacks happened, so, um, you know, is it, is it harder for that to happen again, it's definitely more difficult, but is it impossible, no, I don't think, I don't think it will ever be fully, you know, impossible for that to happen again, as, as, as sorry as that is to say. But, I mean, you know, just, um, it is more, it is a lot harder, but, I mean, at the same time, it, it it's not completely impossible. So, I mean, you know, and, um, and anyway, uh, and then, anyway, you know, 10 years later today, um, I was, you know, I was watching the news when I went down to eat, uh, earlier, and, um, I saw, you know, basically all the news footage of, um, of basically what happened that day, and, um, yeah, you know, like I said, it almost, it, it seems like it was just, it just happened, you know, even though it's 10 years later, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it was 10 years since that happened, and, um, and, uh, you know what, actually, I do want to say, um, in, oh gosh, what was it, um, I think it was in September, or, um, no, it was in, it was in September, I don't know if it, if it was 2009 or 2010, but, um, we actually, when I was still in college, we actually went to visit the uh, the Flight 93 memorial site <clears throat> that was uh, set up for that area, and um, you know, just all the pictures of all the people. Someone actually told the story of like all the people who had died um, that day on the plane, what their plans were, um, and I was, you know, I, I I teared up. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't. It's just, um, you know, all those people were um, who were just, you know, it was supposed to be just a normal day for them. 
ended up being very not normal for them, you know, and it was very sad, very sad. So, um, uh, you know, guys, just, um, you know, just, just uh, don't forget this day. And, um, you know, just remember all the people who died that day who really should not have died that day. And, um, and just remember to, um, you know, just remember to, um, like I said, remember the past and, um, just think about those people who really suffered that day. Okay. Um, and that's basically it. So, um, thanks for watching guys. Okay. And, um, I'll see you later.